All right, crew, it's been a day since I've gotten my RTX A6000, and guess what? It's no longer in the box. That's right, I got it installed. Ran a couple benchmarks in Furmark. Gonna do a quick test here in SolidWorks as it's pretty late right now. But I uh, thought I'd share some, some information um, as soon as I could so you guys could enjoy it. All right, let's take a look. All right, I just thought I'd share with you guys the setup. I uh, worked for a couple hours a day figuring out how I was gonna lay all of this out. Um, I ended up getting rid of one of my smaller 16 by nine monitors, kept one as you can see there on the right hand side. And then uh, the Dell is the large monitor there at the bottom with my old high definition ultra wide um, up top for some extra real estate. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this way, but I just thought I'd share with you guys anyhow. Okay, let's check out some of these firmware scores. All right, ran our first Furmark test um, with the 1080p preset from Furmark. Just downloaded the latest version, um, hit go on 1080p, and we get a score of 16,902. And the frames per second was 286 max, 282 average. The, piece, or the, the GPU got up to 83 degrees, and I repeated this test again uh, at the 4K preset. The GPU didn't have a complete chance to cool down to just like an idle temperature. I think I started it at 51 degrees C. So that makes sense why the temperature was a couple degrees higher, two degrees higher. The maximum frame rate was 107. Average frame rate was 104. The score was 6252, but I'm mainly just looking at the GPU temperature and the frame rate just to get, uh, you know, a good frame of reference about what this GPU can do. The last one I did was a custom uh, resolution. This is the 5K by 2K, or to be exactly correct, it's the uh, 5120 by 2160. That's the exact resolution of my new Dell ultra wide monitor and ran that for a minute. The frames per second on that was 103 max, 101 average. And this time the GPU did get a good amount of time to cool and it was about 84 degrees C. All right, so generally speaking, Firmark isn't the best benchmarking tool out there, right? It's more of a stress testing tool. I think one of the things we can gather from this is that the GPU under max load, right, uh, tapped out at about 85 degrees C. It was relatively slow, the climb from 81 to 85, telling us that they, you know, the, the fan's kicking in, the heatsink is doing its job, and it's, and it's flat landing at the 85 degrees C. All right, just to validate that we have um, the A6000 installed, I'm gonna go ahead and show you display adapters, uh, NVIDIA RTX A6000. It's also shown up in Speccy too, so if you look at uh, some of my specs here, I'm running an older CPU and motherboard, but everything seems to be working pretty fine. In fact, I'm actually running a PCIe 3.0 as opposed to a 4.0. Uh, been doing some research on that. Eventually I'll test that here too, just to see if there's a difference, if I can get different firmware scores or different benchmarks in SOLIDWORKS and so on. Um, you can see the uh, A6000 and then my 5K by 2K monitor in here too. I'm going to leave a portion of my screen available just so we can um, see the GPU usage in the task manager um, when I like rotate, pan, zoom, etc. So we'll start off with a couple zooms. This is a relatively large file. It's a, it's a uh, you know, the type of telescope that goes on top of a mountain. It's highly detailed. It has all the different uh, components and whatnot in here. And one thing to keep in mind is that I'm not only just using SOLIDWORKS now, but I'm actually recording too. Um, that's why the CPU usage or idle might be a little higher. So just zooming in and zooming in gets us about 10% or something, an extra 2%. Um, let's do a rotate. So we'll rotate the model around so we can see it. We can peg it at, oh, about 50%, 60%. Let's see if we can really get this thing going. Um, SOLIDWORKS does use the GPU for rotate functions and seeing how this is a pretty large file I thought this would be a good place to start. Um, I'm going to use my 3D mouse and instead of my right-handed mouse. Um, this allows me to rotate, pan, and zoom simultaneously. This seems to be actually more efficient. So for those of you using SOLIDWORKS and struggling with GPU power, um, you know, using a 3D mouse can save you on some of that GPU usage. So that was a quick look with SOLIDWORKS running the RTX A6000 from NVIDIA. Uh, that last screen share came in ultra wide, came in with the bars on the top and bottom because I was showing it on my ultra wide monitor. Just thought you'd like it as a reference. 
And all in all, uh, you know, uh, running SolidWorks and the RTX A6000 couldn't peg the GPU past 60%, which is what I expected. You know, the, the A6000 is going to be a monster for SolidWorks, probably overkill unless you can really justify it for some really large files. But where it's really going to shine is in SolidWorks Visualize for some, uh, you know, outstanding rendering uh images and then also decreasing rendering times and, and rendering of animation time so we'll take a look at that in our next videos hey my name is adam hughes i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it hit the thumbs up if you'd like to see some more content coming soon some more rtx a6000 content and some uh, dell ultra wide uh you know 5k by 2k monitor uh information go ahead and hit subscribe if you watch this all the way through i can't thank you enough thank you so much and uh, we'll see you next time around. Fight on.